about the time you got here. I was starting to think nobody was ever going to show up. They say only fools travel the southern path, but I'd rather be a fool than a coward any day. The dragon doesn't scare me one bit. What about you? Hmm. That's the shit I like to hear, newbie. I'll call you whatever I want. I've never seen you before, and the guild said they were sending along a new recruit. It's a natural assumption to make. But you know, if you're looking for a heartfelt welcome to the Free Blades, you'll want to try one of the others. I don't know you from an NPC right now, and if you don't do something to make an impression soon, I'll have no choice but to treat you like one. You're even using the default hairstyle. It's a miracle that I recognised you as a player. Our old tank. You can never mistake him for an NPC. That guy took days off work to finish new expansions. I used to really respect him, but he's been kind of distant lately. Stopped showing up to guild nights altogether for the last few months. He never responds to anything in our Discord, and I haven't even seen him in the game. I don't think we should kick him unless we really need the slot for an active player. The leader's too sentimental to do that anyway. <laughs> the day we became a full active guild, I'll eat my own gear. Still, I get it. As much as I'm going to miss him, we can't do dungeons without a full party. Someone's got to step up and it's hard finding someone in the right time zone who always wants to deal with my bullshit. So it looks like it's you and me until everyone else shows up. Stop moving around when I'm trying to target you. There we go. That shouldn't have been a fucking ordeal, but here we are. You'd think we'd get a QOL update that makes tabbing around less of a pain in the ass, but nope. It feels totally random all the time. So, you're a warrior level 70. Not too bad, but none of your gear looks unique. It's all a bunch of premium garbage. Do you ever do content? You should have enough gold to buy a real ship by now, unless you're on some kind of story skipping out. This healer was supposed to be a secondary character for me, but before I knew it, they took over as my main. But when I played Peacemaker, I used multibox. You know, play multiple altars at the same time. I don't have the energy for that anymore though. Hey. I know my staff is big, but my eyes are up here. I don't think I don't notice you staring. It's like you've never seen a healer before. What, you expect us to all wear white robes and mini skirts? Push your luck and I'll break your guild coffers open. We've got a chain mail bikini that should fit you. Yes, the rest of the party is every bit of a charming as me. We've got a mage and a dancer both level 80. The dancer's kind of lagging behind the rest of us, but he works a 9 to 5 now and can't be asked to do much of anything other than RP, which you know, that's fair. He's a really good writer, so I'd like to keep him around. The dungeon isn't going to be in character, of course. There's no reason for us to have met yet, and I don't like doing important events like that off-screen. What was your reason for joining the Free Blades anyway? The leader asked you? Uh-huh. What's next? Your character's gonna play the amnesia card? If you conveniently can't remember your backstory, you just play whatever sounds good at the time and force people to accept all of your inconsistencies. Creativity is dead. Rest in pieces, let's all go home. Oh, you don't have a backstory? How unique. You do know this is supposed to be an RP guild, right? Whatever. I guess being a literal blank slate is better than trying to convince someone that you're the main scenario's protagonist, or that you're possessed by a demon, or that you're the only survivor of your obscure tribe. You're all stats and no substance. You might look okay on paper, but how are you at pushing buttons? Do you get any performance anxiety in dungeons? This party needs someone who can do their damn rotations and use the right combos on the right enemies, Preferably someone who can handle reading the map too. If you're going to lead us around, don't lead us into walls and dead ends. 
And if I hear the words Leroy Jenkins, even as a joke, I'm kicking you from the party. I don't care if we'll wipe. There we go. That's the boss. Old Firestorm Scrouge of the South. He's your typical red dragon. Wings, claws, fire breath, the works. Make sure you know how to dodge his attacks. Do not stand in the bad. I have to pay attention to my cooldowns and I can't afford to heal up your burns every time he opens his mouth. On the other hand, maybe it's the secret trigger to unlock a stop, drop and roll mode. I'd pay to see that. Get your shit together. They're ready to start. Hey, premium gear. Are you paying attention? I see a chest up ahead. Our mage has almost everything she needs, so it'll be just the three of us competing for the gear. You see something you want, you open your mouth and ask not to roll for it. It's time for your first real test as a free blade. Let's move. <laughs> 